Hello everyone, happy Monday. We're on day two of our 21 days of prayer and fasting, so hopefully you're still going on your fast and whatever you've chosen to give up. If you know anything about me, you'll know that I am passionate about the discipline of fasting. I think it's a really powerful thing to do from time to time in our lives. And essentially when we choose to fast, what we say is I'm gonna look at my life and I'm gonna see what things represent the power of my flesh. And so a kind of appetite that isn't necessarily a bad thing, Thing, but it can come to the fore in a way that is unhelpful and it can become something of an idol and actually what I want is I want Jesus to be the highest power and the greatest authority in my life. I want him to be number one and so when I fast I lay down something so that I can consume something more of Jesus. So I don't know what you're fasting for the in these 21 days. It may be from coffee, it may be from tea, it may be from speaking negatively or critically of other people. I think that's a really powerful thing to do when we fast. Um, it may be physically cutting out some food, uh, or it may be cutting out something like social media, but whatever you're doing, can I encourage you as you do it, uh, equally, create some space to spend in the presence of God. I remember when I used to work in the city, uh, my desk was quite near the coffee machine and whenever someone went out to make a drink through the course of the day if I'd chosen to give up coffee it was a simple reminder oh today I'm fasting for Jesus and whenever someone passed my desk and I could smell the smell of coffee um, then I would just take that moment to say thank you Jesus that I love you more than coffee thank you Jesus that you're number one in my life and I'd just take literally just a few seconds but I'd make it a regular discipline right the way through my day to say I'm going to remind myself of Jesus so I'm going to stop for this moment and I'm going to say thank you to God. So my encouragement to you at the start of these 21 days of prayer and fasting, don't focus just on what you're giving up. Think about how can I embrace more of Jesus? How can I make more room for Jesus? And the thing that we've organised for this week is every evening at 8 o'clock on Facebook Live, there's going to be 30 to 40 minutes of worship led by our worship team. And you don't have to actually have a Facebook account to be able to join in. You can just go to Facebook and just follow the link. But as you follow the link at 8 o'clock this evening, you can join in with our worship team. And it's just making room to focus on Jesus. We're not going to be particularly praying for anything or doing anything. Think. We're just going to be sitting in the presence of God and worshipping him and enjoying his presence. This evening's recording is the one that was made on Saturday evening that we live streamed from uh, Woodford. So if you've already seen that, you'll know what's coming up and you know how great it is. If you haven't, there's an opportunity to catch up eight o'clock tonight and every evening this week. Facebook Live, join us together and let's worship Jesus over these 21 days. May God bless you. May you have a wonderful Monday.